Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today is a fantastic treat as I am back in Philadelphia and going to film a video about my trip to San Diego. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. Before I begin, I still want to tell you that I did not get my phone in. It was actually delivered today, but nobody answered the door, so I did not get my new phone. So the audio is a little weird. I was trying to work around and figure out what was going on because there's a little bit of like reverbage or some shit coming through. I don't know. Hopefully it will be solved when I get my Pixel and I am no longer using the Samsung S22. So the trip to San Diego, we have to get into this right away. It was pretty cool. Um, getting into the airport in Philadelphia was easy. I went real quick through the screening process to check my ID. I went through the little metal detector. I didn't have to do the hands one on this one. Uh, they just, you know, walked through a regular one. The dude patted me down, which is fine. I gave him permission, so it wasn't any kind of harassment. And, uh, yeah, I, I got there about an hour and a half early. And I sat down. Nobody was at the, uh airport terminal and shit like that and i said you know i'm gonna go get a coffee so i went over to dunkin donuts which was at a different terminal it took me like five minutes but let me tell you something folks i don't know why i was so out of breath and why i was so hot i could have sworn there was air conditioning being pumped through the airport but i was sweating and then i got my coffee at dunkin donuts and i was sweating even more well i mean the coffee was hot so when i got back to the terminal to board the aircraft or air you know the plane they called the groups numbers and i was a really high group number for some reason and i'm a triple a what is it american airlines vantage member and they put me in group nine and when they called up group seven they said anybody with a carry-on we need to check that bag in i did not want to check my bag in at all i was like are you for real like come on now da, 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 da. thank goodness i didn't have any funko pops in my bag at the time or i would have been livid so they took my bag, I got on the plane, I was so irritated, and I sat down and this lady was like, excuse me, can my son sit in the seat which you have? I said, he's already sitting down, I'm like, he doesn't have a problem, and I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm already aggravated, I, honestly, I should have maybe gave the seat up, but I didn't want to sit in the middle and get squashed in between two people, it's bad enough if I have to get up and I'm on the end aisle and someone has to go to the bathroom, I like to sleep on my flight. So basically what happened today was uh, I came back from San Diego and things were a lot different. You know why it was different? Because I called and complained to American Airlines and told them there was no way I was checking my bag in if I was coming back with Funko Pops. I told them that I had precious cargo that I could not part with. So what they did was they bumped up my group number. They bumped me up to group six. And I'll be honest with you folks, I think there was plenty of room on that plane. That was my biggest cons um, complaint about the first ride from Philadelphia to San Diego. They told me to check my bag and when I was walking down the aisles, I saw so many free compartments on top. I was like, why did I have to check my bag? I just wanted to hold on to this bad boy. It was more or less the uh, anxiety and stress that I thought when I was coming home, I was gonna run into the same issue, but they fixed it up. They gave me the group six. Today, when I got to the airport, they didn't open at 4 o'clock. I got there like at 3.30. I was like, ah, oh, I got to get there two hours early. No, 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 no. That was that was a smart thing to do. They didn't open until 4. And San Diego actually has a very small airport if you've ever been there. So I went in, went to the American Airlines stand. I stood there for a couple minutes. And uh, I was like, you know what? I, I want a coffee. So I checked on my phone and said a lot of places didn't open up till 5. So I had the board at 5.40. I said, okay, I can wait till 5. I looked on my app to see where the Dunkin' Donuts was, and it told me it was near, like, Terminal 31. So I went over to Terminal 31. No Dunkin' Donuts. So I asked a bunch of people, and finally, some guy who I guess was working there longer than any of these pilots or security or anything like that goes, we haven't had a Dunkin' Donuts here in, like, three years. I was like, all right, well, thank you. But you know what they did have? They had an Einstein bagels. But I wasn't able to go to the Einstein bagels because I'd have to actually walk out of the the check-in or the tsa check-in or the regular check-in and then i have to come back in and once i saw that there was an einstein bagels i really wanted to get a panini you know my custom panini of course with my uh spicy mustard bacon pesto turkey 
I said chicken, didn't I? Yeah, I went chicken, not turkey. And uh, <clears throat> I haven't had that in a long time. Not since I worked on Sam Bagels almost, was it 12 years maybe? Maybe even longer. I missed that job. And I get ever back to being a bagel maker? I definitely was. So yeah, I mean, the transportation in San Diego is really cool. I use Lyft. I, I was going to use Uber, which they said was a lot cheaper. Uber wasn't any cheaper than the Lyft. I met a lot of nice people. There was this one guy when I was walking to the post office who even gave me a ride. He didn't even know who the hell I was. I could have been a killer. He could have been a killer. But he was very nice, and he drove me over to the post office while giving me, you know, his little spiel about, you know, the, the Democrats, the Republicans, and Donald Trump, and then Kamala Harris, or Kamala Harris, whatever the hell her name was. It was, it was, it was a fun trip. But next time when I go and I fly out, I'm probably going to try to go Southwest Airlines. I know they do give a free baggage thing. And maybe that was what was kind of pushing me in the middle. It wasn't really pushing me in the middle. Because once I read the review that said, do not send your Funko Pops home in luggage, I wasn't going to send them in any carry-on luggage. I mean, you know, whatever. Check it, luggage. Come on. I just got back from San Diego. I got that jet lag or whatever it's called. But I did just eat a nice delicious meal, so I'm full. But I will give you a little hint. Fun Days was actually pretty cool. And it wasn't the event that was cool. It was actually the people that I met there. So in my next video that I put out, I'm going to talk about everybody that I met. It's going to be great. And you're all going to love it. But before we get to that, there is one little incy bency thing we need to talk about. That's right, folks. It's some ups and them downs. That's right. We need to go to those ups and them downs. And we got to restart all the way from the beginning with this camera phone. So Samsung 22 Galaxy Ultra, you are getting it down. I really don't like your camera quality and you gave me quite a run around with this Rode 2 mic. I don't like the reverbage. And uh, yeah, the pixel delivery from FedEx, mm -mm -mm. you should have been here when I arrived home and then everything would have been good. So you are also getting it down. Yeah, and when I flew back in from uh, San Diego to Philadelphia, I called them some bitches up and I said, yo, no phone call, no doorbell ring, because I didn't see it on my ring camera, even though the ring camera is not installed on my Samsung. I just wanted to throw it out. So yeah, uh, customer service with uh, FedEx, you are getting it down. Flight from Philly to San Diego, you are getting it down. That's right. You gave me too much stress in the morning, and I did not want to deal with any of that. I went nice, smooth sailing. And whoever was kicking my chair on that flight, come on. And then we must get to the flight back from San Diego to Philadelphia. Granted, you didn't have my Dunkin' Donuts, but you did have nine slime bagels I wasn't able to get to. But you were nice, courteous, and I did get two sodas, which I only took one home, and I left. I left it in the chair. You know, that little pull-out thing that you can put down. So, you are going to get an up. That's right, you are getting an up. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when I guarantee you I will forget that we're talking about fun days because it's kind of over. But I will say a very special thank you to Mike Becker. Uh, it was a cool event, I guess, sort of. That's my advancing, you know. But you were gone. You were gone from Funko as of today. So, ba-da-boom, ba-da-boom. Thank you. And, folks, I will see you later. Bye-bye.